Fran, I just want you to know that this is a big commitment. I mean, Abby called me and asked me if I would be willing to do a video, and then I thought about the fact that, hey, that would involve me getting out of bed and, um, you know, taking a shower and, you know, okay, I've started the process, but you can see I'm not lovely as, well, you know, I should be for a video presentation. So, and then I have to decide what to wear. So, uh, you know, I'll get back to you. Okay, so like the hair is dry now and I need some curls. Be back. Okay, so as you can see, I've put some lovely curls in my hair and um, we're going to work on a little bit of makeup and maybe some you know, jangly little things from my ears to make me look quite feminine. As we know, I really can look. Okay, I moved to an area where there was like a little bit more light so I could see what was going on. And seriously, you gotta see, I found this like, um, nose hair right, right there. That, is that not gross or what? I mean, come on. But it's gone now, so it won't be in the video. Okay, so, like, you know, to make it look really good, you really gotta have nice teeth. And I was looking at them, they're not that good. So, I'm going to brush them for you, and they're going to look really good, okay? So, you know, you got to bear with me, but um, they'll be good, okay? So. Okay, so, like, this is the place where I need to put, you know, the mascara on. You can see I have a lovely brand. It's from the dollar store, L.A. Colors Mascara, a little bitty thing, you know, but... Hey, it works, you know, on a pinch, you know? Okay, so like this is probably from 1986 too. True Illusions un Undetectable Makeup. And it's going to be undetectable because there's not going to be much of it on there because I just, you know, I don't do that. This area here though, friend, you will notice. Um, see, I already turned 50 back in April, you know? And um, these, these wrinkles that are here, yeah, they're coming. And if you try to, you know, lose weight, like, you know, I dropped, what, I don't know, 40, 45 pounds, probably since I saw you last. Um, yeah, I look better, you know, in some places, but I've noticed that the face, when it shrinks, it leaves wrinkles. This is perplexing because you think you're doing good and then you're suddenly, you know, covered with the, you know, Sharpay type markings. Cute on a dog, but, you know, not so much on me. What to wear, what to wear, red thermal, stripes know they make you look fat, brown, not much different from red, gray, too light, green, yeah, black, oh, slimming, yes. Okay, so now I have changed to the sleeker black color thermal underwear shirt. That's the dressiest I, I get up here, you know, and the, it's cold, you know, but on black it makes you look thinner. And so, I, so I've changed for you. And besides, black will go with any guitar I pick, and I have to choose those next. So, so that, and um, I might put some deodorant on. I, I know it won't make you any more comfortable, but I have to be with myself for a while. So yes, I, I will do this. Okay, so I'll see you in a few. Oh, I love this guitar, but um, there's too many strings to tune. And it's been sitting a while. Um, I love this one too, but there's like not enough contrast for the black shirt. I don't want to mess with an amplifier, so we won't do that one. Um, too twangy, uh, not since fifth grade. Um, I'm not sure what that is. This, no. Um, ooh, pretty. Oh, too big and too loud. Oh, soft on my fingers, you are the one. I was questioning whether I should slide in like Tom Cruise and make it so much more dramatic, but I'm not good at that. And I didn't think you'd like to see me with my pants off. So, anyway, the end of a uh, long production day. You know, it took me all day long to uh, kind of put a face on and curl my hair for you and uh, do some bijangly, you know, little earringy things there. And uh, I've come to understand that at age 50, you want a good movie. You know, you hate going to those movies where you get to the end and it, it doesn't turn out like you expected it to. So I'm hoping that this finale is going to be worth the money that you spent on this. So um, anyway, here goes.
okay, well, it wasn't anything super special, and it might not have met your expectations, but like I said, what you paid for. And Abby didn't give me much time. Um, and it was short and sweet, like you, and that sounds good, right? And so anyway, um, hey, seriously, you've been there since I was age five, I think, and uh, you know what you mean to me, and I hope you have a wonderful birthday. Love you, gal. Just time.